Chapter 3, Mishnah 8. The Mishnah discusses tying the Lulav Hadassim and Arvos together. We may not bind the Lulav Hadassim and Arvos together except with parts of their own species, such as their stems, branches, and leaves. These are the words of Rabbi Yehuda. According to Rabbi Yehuda, binding is part of the mitzvah of the four species. And so parts of these very species must be used. But Rabbi Meir says we may bind them together even with a string of linen or the like. Rabbi Meir holds that binding is done merely to make the species look more appealing. Thus, any material is fit for this purpose. Rabbi Meir cites, his support, for, cites support for his ruling. Rabbi Meir said it happened with the men of Jerusalem that they would bind their lulavs, their lulavs, hadasim and arvos together with bands of gold. This shows that any type of material is acceptable. Rabbi Meir's proof is rejected. The rabbi said to him, In fact, they bound it, i.e. the lulav, together with the Hadassim and Aravos, with parts of their own species underneath the bands of gold. That is, they fulfilled the mitzvah of binding with parts of the four species and then put bands of gold on top for decoration.